My diagnosis is DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, formerly known as Multiple Personality Disorder. DID is caused by severe repetitive trauma over an extended period of time. It's a developmental disorder. It means my brain did not develop the way that the other children's brains developed. Now, let's start from the beginning. When we are born, our brain is an emotional fragment. So when you are hungry, your emotion is sadness. So that's an emotional fragment. When you get fed and you are now happy, that's happy. That's an emotional fragment. And we're just a bunch of emotional fragments. No, that does not mean you are born with DID. DID is the name of the developmental disorder, okay? Not the way we are all born. We are all born with emotional fragments. When your identity starts to develop, which is in between the ages of five and eight, all those emotional fragments become one. So let's say you had hunger, sadness, um, not being able to play with the toy, anger, um, getting fed, happy, getting candy, ecstatic. All those emotions become one and you now know when you are hungry, you're sad. When you are fed, you are happy. When you don't get to play with that toy, you are mad. That's your identity. So you're going to react to those situations the same way and then you'll develop into different, okay, whatever. Mine there was trauma and there was severe emotions. There were traumatizing emotions, overwhelming emotions. So while I had the normal stuff that I just named, I also had getting essay trauma. And that essay trauma was so overwhelming that I needed to leave it on the side. I could not deal with these emotions and have this super overwhelming emotion. So trauma walls, barriers, amnesia walls were created between the overwhelming emotions and the regular everyday emotions. And that kept my brain in different emotional fragments. Then once you hit that period in time between five and eight, where your brain, your identity is supposed to develop into one, and mine didn't develop into one because I had those amnesia walls, the emotional fragments being left aside, the overwhelming feelings, blah, blah, blah. I technically get the diagnosis DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, because my brain did not develop the way everybody else's brain developed. So the way I've been healing is learning to communicate with all of my alters by finding our triggers first. And when we find our triggers, we are then able to process what emotion, what memory causes that trigger. And then once we find that out, we can also find out what alters were involved in those in that me specific memory or certain memories around it or similar memories to then help those alters start processing their trauma and healing from it. And then you do visualization. When it came to processing, that is what helped us the most was visualization. And yeah, now since 2017 to 2024, we have gone down from 27 alters to eight alters, which is fusion. Integration is just the communication between alters. It's like giving one alter a phone and giving the other alter a phone and being able to communicate, which is what we had to do first in order to start finding out what alters went through what trauma and then what triggers them and then learning how to process and then some of them would front in therapy. Sometimes I would be the one to front and then I would do the work at home in bed. It just all depended on the alter. Um, and no, not everybody's goal who has DID is to fuse. My goal wasn't originally to fuse. Actually, I think my goal very originally was to fuse. And then once I started having integration with my alters, I didn't want to fuse anymore. But then through processing, everybody kind of started fusing on their own because once that triggered state is kind of finally set aside and down and calmed down and we are no longer in that level of survival mode, there's no need to not get to enjoy life together. Because that's kind of the bummer of having DID is losing time. It's not being able to like all go to the movies together because only one altar is fronting or you're switching because you're triggered and then multiple alters are only having certain parts of the movie and you just lose time in your life and it really sucks. But once you're fused, once you're like so connected that you're one and you all kind of get to love each other at all times and in such a like one in way, I don't even know how to explain how beautiful it feels, it's just such a great feeling to know that there isn't one part of us having to miss out on life because of 
the trauma we went through because it's not fair that we didn't all get to try the ice cream or enjoy the movie now we do because we're all one and it's beautiful well not all of us but you know what i mean anyways that's my whole explanation i hope that helps and that's what my page is about is healing and how far we come and the things that we've noticed and how we're healing through it all because life is actually so much more beautiful than I ever knew it could be. And it's just so beautiful to finally get to enjoy and love being alive.